Well guys, I think in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to swap out the bearings in a tire and where to get some bearings and if you've got these kind of bearings and you know just get bearings, more bearings. So yeah, here we go. Alright guys, now you know what this tire goes to. Yeah, the Hyperion cart. The bearings in this thing are pretty well shot. I didn't realize that until I you know, started putting this thing together. So um we're going to swap out these bearings. Five eighths inner diameter. An inch and three eighths outer diameter. I think they're inch and three eighths. I hope so. That sounds right. But we're gonna swap these out. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. How I have this set up is my my vise is opened up to the point where the jaws are wide enough so the rim of the tire can rest on the edge of it. I'm gonna take one of these punches. You know, I take this punch. I'm gonna put it down through here. You can use a regular piece of steel, whatever but you want the punch to go all the way up against the wall and then go down and touch the bearing. So I'm gonna stick this down in here and I'm gonna tap, move it, tap, move it, tap, and slowly work out the bearing that way. Eh. Whoa. Yeah, I'd say that bearing's pretty well shot. Wow. You see, I've dropped this uh, punch a few times, and, and it's already magnetized. So, wow. Okay, so let me do this. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sweet. One's out. Flip it over. All right. Wow, that's pretty bad, ultra bad, omega bad. All right, now that I got those out, I'm now gonna swap them out and put these ones in. These bearings are better because they have the seal, this uh, plastic seal that goes around and seals up the bearings so grit and icky stuff don't get inside the bearings and burn out the bearings even more. Plus it also has this lock ring on here. And so that way when I go to put them in, they're not going to slide all the way into the, in the insert here. So, now, I'm gonna put them on, put it on there like that. Here, let me uh, put the camera up. So you guys can see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put the camera, or I'm gonna take the bearing, I'm gonna put the bearing in like right there. I'm gonna take this piece of steel I'll put the steel right over the flatness of it and then tap it in. Rotate the steel, tap, rotate the steel, tap. I don't have a round ring or a piece of wood to put over this, so I'm going to have to improvise. And I'm going to use this piece of quarter inch flat stock. Uh, let's pound it in there with, uh, you know, a little uh, manly finesse. Yeah! Now you can come across some videos where people will use this and use a block of wood, but I don't have any blocks of wood, and all I got to do. Not a snap.
make sure that snap ring is even. Look at the distance that the ring is at. Yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah. Flip it over. Put the next ones in. Now, if you're looking for these kind of bearings, you can find a link down in the description. These are awesome bearings. These are the kind of bearings that you want to get because they're sealed and they've got the ring on them. So, you know, if I didn't have the ring on here, this could easily slam in deep and then turn and then get kinked and then my bolt won't go in there. With this snap ring in here I don't have to worry about <laughs> the bearing going in too deep yeah yeah he's good there we go all done boing 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 let's install it okay well I got this spacer in there but the spacer ended up being way too long and we're going to swap out that spacer for this spacer for these two right here. See, with this uh, half inch spacer that I did have in there, it moved the tire out too far where I couldn't even get the nut on deep enough so the, lock, so the locking uh, stuff wouldn't go far enough on there. Locking stuff, haha. <laughs> so we're going to put on that and we're going to put on that. Like I said, to find these type of bearings, you can look in, down in the description. Go there, buy some. Don't just buy one or two to fix one tire. You wanna buy like a bunch of them. When I bought, I bought like eight of them. I've already used, I used two more, and then I've got two there and two there. And then there's there's four on the, on the front in here, then there's these six, or these two plus six, which are six. And then the other two are on one of my other machines. Okay, that wobble right there comes from the tolerance between the pin and my spindle. And that's how you change bearings in your tire. Get another look at them. Get another look at these. Good stuff right here, guys. This is what you want to put in the front end of your tires, your front wheels. Sealed bearings. Very, 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 very good.